Okay, I was able to get a lot more done than I thought I would be able to off camera. I did get in all of the supports that I wanted to for the head frame itself and the braces coming off the back. And then I also was able to get the walls put in. I didn't get the pieces glued in there. That'll be a project that will be coming up right now. And then the next things that I'm going to be doing is getting, I did a little bit of this already, but they're just because of the unevenness of the floor, you can see that there's some gap along the bottom of the building. I do want to get put some trim along it like I did here to hide that. So mainly because I will have this lit up and I don't really want a whole lot of light bleeding through from the bottom. So I don't think I need to worry about anything along the sides. Everything looks to be pretty well aligned to where there won't be any light bleed, but so I won't worry about that, but I do want to take care of along the bottom here. And then you can see, or at least hopefully you can see this little spot here. I'm not thrilled with either. So I'm going to try and plug that up real quick. So that is the next steps that I'll be filming here. So we'll get going with it. Oh, the other thing is, is I did cut out doors. I don't have any planned for it. I'm thinking of just leaving it open for now, but I did save the cutouts for it.
really happy with how this has turned out and think that it's going to look pretty good down on the layout. I did some experimentation and decided that I wanted to do something that looks like this for the roof. I'll go up just a little bit like that with a bigger panel, but then also we'll do an angled roof along here. This one was a, I cut it accidentally a little short for what I needed. So I'm going to cut it a little longer. We'll get it it's put in there. I will probably not glue it down to the top yet just to keep working on some stuff inside that I want to do. So.
And I know this is overkill on the glue, but where I probably will be making this so that it's a removable roof. Well, not probably. I'm going to make this be a removable roof. I want to just be safe and have that extra support for now until I get the rest of what I'm doing done because I will be I have some other thoughts and plans. For There's a few things that I'm needing to fix with the mine after I've had it down on the layout and hooked it up to power. The first big thing is I accidentally blew out two of the LEDs and needed to get those replaced. To do that, I took a old soldering tip that I had, melted the glue down a little bit, and just pulled them out with a plier, with a pair of pliers. Here is the remnants of that. This one, I'm, I was able to, I had an LED that already has a resistor on it that will fit perfectly there, and that will be pretty easy to fix. This one, however, was one of the first ones I was doing where I thought it would be a good idea, I don't know why, to daisy chain the LEDs together. And unfortunately, I've needed to cut back some to clean the wire leads where some of the glue got onto it. I will be able to use my, or use resistor on the positive leg to bridge that gap, but I'll need to cut another jumper wire to put and connect the negative. Luckily, I've got a couple of scrap pieces from previous projects, so I'll be able to do that pretty easily. The other thing that I need to work on is I had this let noticed that this layer wasn't lit up real well on the front side when it was down on the layout as well. So I took the router and have routed down another channel to add two more LEDs here. I did go a little too deep with it and that some, I could see through some of the spots on there. So just to be safe, I painted it with a burnt umber and I'm letting that dry. But Overall, I think having three things to fix on it is very minor, so I will get working on the this and we'll keep working on the other projects that I've got going on with it, mainly the head house and getting the lighting done with that, and we'll be back in a bit once this is fixed. 